Oh, good afternoon. Happy Mother's Day. It's raining. We're in the red truck. Our keys are all twisted up. I'm going to ring on here for something. I don't remember what it's for, but we're just going to pull that off because it's loose. Radiator down. Truck's idling awfully high, but I gotta get in there and figure that out. Get some pea frost going here. I had it out yesterday, so she started pretty easy, but. Get some wiper action going. It uh, kinda got rained out today. It's, what, like 5.30 in the afternoon right now. I've been out putzing around and this rain started coming down. I'm soaked. I was going to go change some dry stuff, but I thought, you know what? i got to go do some running around. So I figure I'll drag you all along with. Then we'll take the old red truck. Old 84. Four miles on her. 84,927.1 miles. Needs a bath. Need to clean the inside of this windshield, too. I don't have a towel or anything in here. What are these? Oh, these are my uh, tie downs. My, uh, whatchamacallit, my, my hooks and whatnot I was going to put in the front of the bed. Got in the back for when I uh, those tie downs in for the Polaris. So yeah, need to put a new headlight switch in this thing. All I got's going haywire. It's messing with the lights on the on the dash. They're either on or off. No adjustments. to the north northeast right now. It's like more coming to the southwest down there. It is that time of year. Happy Mother's Day to everybody, even though this will probably go up a little bit late. Yeah, maybe I'll get this up tonight. Not that it'll really matter. They sent my mom a Mother's Day card. Apparently I was the only kid out of three that did. I have to hit the pet store on the way back, but uh, yeah, the new fuel tank's working good. So she is idling awfully high. It's going to be a short trip, so we're not going to be able to come off idle too much. But it's not a cold day. It's, what, 60 degrees outside, so. Hey, nice red square bud. Not showing up on cat, showing up on camera. Got it through the tent strip on my windshield. I like my little bit darker red on this truck better, though. I don't want that bright, bright red. Colorado towing a little fifth wheel. Small tailpipe, I don't think it's got the diesel in it. But, uh, yeah, the old truck, she's running all right. Needs a little bit of fine tuning, and I gotta dig in and figure it out. I'm just not good with carburetors.
drove it out to my brother's place yesterday, hung out with him and dad for a little bit. First real outing I've had with it since I put the new tank in. It starts, it runs, it drives, it stops, it steers. Although it needs some steering work. The steering's real loose on it. That's my new gearbox too I put in this thing, so. cut in front of me because I wanted to get over there faster. I was going too slow. So here we are at the grocery store. Stop number one. I only got a couple stops to do today. I thought oh, I'd take you guys along. Bridge a little wet. Come on now, kick down. I'm like shutting it off when it's got that high idle going. Sometimes she likes to diesel on me and don't need that. That's a cute a whirl, see what happens here. I'm good, so alrighty, back in a few after some grocery shopping. And we're back. Just like that. Gotta run over to Target. I didn't have everything I wanted at the grocery store. We'll pop over to Target. I've missed driving this truck. Hopefully, y'all got a halfway decent view out the window there. Looks like you do. And we will go this way. Of course, now the sun is out, and I didn't bring my sunglasses. Yeah, I was walking out of the store, had the grocery cart full, hitting the crosswalk. Boy, this gal come whipping around the corner. I thought she was going to hit me. Hit the brake so hard, the ABS kicked on, slid across the painted marks. And I'm the one that got the dirty look. Jeez. Those brakes are grabby. I need to get in and do something with those. It just sometimes never ceases to amaze me how idiotic people can be. You're interfering with them. How dare you? In high humidity, those brakes get real touchy. You know, this thing sat for most last year. I got the fuel tank in, took it for a drive, didn't have a problem with it. Yesterday, jumped in it, fired it up after sitting for a week. Not a brakes were more beautiful. Today, it's kind of hot and muggy. Well, not hot, but it's kind of muggy out there, and it's just, oh, they're touchy, they're grabby. But I've never done anything with the brakes on this poor old truck, and I've had this thing since 2003, I think. other things to it. Toying with the idea of doing fuel injection on this thing too. Just talking about the carburetor and I will not want to kick down. That's a brand new carburetor too. I think there may be a little bit of a vacuum issue up there somewhere but there's a Kevin was saying that there's a kit out there that will handle lower horsepower factory style replacement this is a 160 horse motor. I may have 180 out of it with the intake and the headers and the dual exhaust. So just put a simple 
two barrel style throttle body injection setup on this thing. Probably run better, get a little better fuel economy out of it. I could do that and then put a four speed automatic behind it. This would be the perfect truck in my opinion. Basically, it would be the equivalent of the uh, of the Jimmy's in the brother's place right now. Once that gets up and going, that's the first priority. I want that up and running. Maybe not road worthy because it will need brakes and a bunch of other stuff, but I want it up and running before I really start tearing in and messing around with this thing anymore. I gotta have a truck. I still got to get in and do the wiring on the 63. Somebody was asking about an Oldsmobile update. Well, there's your Oldsmobile update. Ain't nothing happened to it. I like parking way in the back and hoofing it in. So, alrighty. I'll shut you all off again. and be back in a few. Alrighty, a little camera malfunction. All my fault, now what do I do with my keys? Oh, I put them on top of the bag. <laughs> and I'm excited to move the camera down a little bit so y'all get a little bit better view for the drive to the pet store. And bump the battery and it came loose shut the camera off and then I couldn't get the little tightening deals to tighten up. Oh, come on now. There it is. She's not real happy because I'm not letting her warm up all the way. I tell you, Target was empty in there. They have more cashiers than they do customers right now. Well, I've really got to clean the inside of this window. It's starting to rain again. You can see that line of clouds over the trees there that should be blowing this way. Really went down to a low idle. As we were saying as I was driving over here, fuel injection would be nice in this old truck. Let's go this way and give her a couple extra minutes to warm up and drive and circulate some fluids and just kind of go around the backside of Target. Definitely want to change these mufflers too. Put some Flowmasters on this thing, make it sound good. These the Dynamax on here now, Dynaflow, one of those. Just do not like the sound. We're left. More TLC for this little truck. Some plans for the Jimmy. This, the bed of this thing's still full of scrap metal right now, so I gotta, I don't know, it depends on what the weather's like. I don't wanna go out and get soaking wet before having to go to work. Although, I think Thursday and Friday are looking pretty darn good, so I may just uh, try to sneak into the scrapyard in Machias. The yard I used to go to is now closed, shut down, cleared out, no longer there. Which is kind of a bummer because they were so convenient. I just drive the truck into work, swing on through. No more. Yeah, look at that line of clouds there. It's another 
downpour coming. It's blowing ahead of itself too. All the rain coming down now. Sure is pretty with the sunshine in though. Good thing I dug out the four-wheel drive today. Yeah, it was coming down pretty good. Right before I jumped in the truck, I'm still wet. I don't know what time it is, I don't have a clock in here, but probably been bombing around a good 45 minutes. So we're gonna go swing by is it Petco right by the house there? I bought some uh cat treats and little pouches and boy the cats just love that stuff as soon as I open that package they're, they're darn near climbing up my legs to get up to it and then when I was at Target a couple weeks ago now I bought some different stuff some pouches and about the same price I thought oh, I'll give these a try and see what they like well, two of them liked them. The third one, no. She uh, she didn't care for that. She's kind of a picky eater too. Had uh, sardines in it. She's she gonna stop for me. The uh, the big cat. She she's. She doesn't like human food. She doesn't like raw meat. I mean, even cooked meat. She, she, she wants cat food. That's it. Doesn't really matter what type of cat food it is, but for the most part. The brand that they like is like Wellness or something like that. Well, they, just eat, they just love that stuff. But yeah, none of them was real thrilled with the stuff I bought and have been feeding them, so maybe we'll mix it in and work on getting rid of those. So I can haul them out to Kevin's place, see if this cat wants them. Hate to just toss them. Spoiled rotten booty cats. Should be getting green on the crossroads, and I'll be hitting it next. Sure wish I had my sunglasses. Kind of nice, too. My AM country station is also on the FM band up here in Seattle, so. This thing going out to Kevin's place gets nothing but static out there. having some clearer classic country music in the old Chevy truck. Here's where mom's Mother's Day card came from. Well, I got a new building going in there. they're renovating. They're open, right? I don't think they're even open today. Nope. Lights are all off. Or I probably missed them. Guess they're not getting the good stuff tonight. See, it was 5.30 when I left the house, so it's probably 6.30, 7 o'clock. Sunday afternoon. They probably shut down, so... Oh well. We'll hit them tomorrow on the way into work. Let's buy a container of cat litter too, so. It's one thing I do have some problem with, especially on the weekends. I don't wear a watch, I don't really pay much attention to the time. 
and with the sun staying up as it is, some dark, dark clouds to the southeast. I think we're going to get nailed again here in about an hour or so. We'll just take care of the booty cats tomorrow. I wonder if this new radio I got in the truck does have a, a clock feature. If we dig out the instruction manual and find out. So anywho, that's going to about do it for this one as we get closer to the house. Doing some more work on this place. This place on the corner with the fridge in the front yard. I guess they've got those folks out. It was getting pretty nasty looking. Looks like they're renovating it as well. There's home sweet home. I hate this fence on the right here. They put it out a little too far. So. Okie dokie, I gotta try to get the truck parked. Without hitting the fire hydrant, squeezing in along the Chevy Cruze here. Problem is, you can't barely see the hydrant over the height of this old truck. Swing it around, but you don't want to hit the garage. I can't do the parking brake because of these speakers I put in. So, alrighty, I gotta unload my groceries. Thanks for following along. Thanks for riding with me. Lights off, ignition off. We'll catch you on the next one. Be good. Bye bye.